Hey everybody, this story is a little different. It's not its own story. What I did was pretended that some of the chapters in the first book I wrote, Sakon Slurpee's Island Adventure, got lost. And here they are. We found them. For example, chapter zero, the stuff in that chapter starts before chapter one in my first book. Chapter 2.1 is just after chapter two is over. And then chapter 2.2 is after that. You get the idea. So as you read these short stories, pause the video and act the movements out. They were written to be a little bit simpler sentences so that students could read these and act them out on their own when they read the actual stories. So they seem a little bit choppy. They were meant to be. If you haven't read Stockholm Slurpee's Island Adventure or watched it, go back and watch that one first or these won't make sense. Sucko. Slurpee. What are you guys staring at? Oh, well, we were staring at that guy over there. Yes, and that boy and girl right there. Why are you staring at him? That's not nice. Well, we like what they're wearing. Yes, I like what you're wearing, and you too. Enjoy. Sako and Slurpee's Island Adventure Lost Chapters. Chapter Zero, Vacation Begins. Walk, fast walk, march, and twirl. Sako walked on the beach. He stepped slowly and was very relaxed. He saw the ocean waves, a sandy beach at his feet, and the boat sailing by. His face felt the warm sun and the cool breeze that made the palm trees sway. Slurpee came from the other end of the beach. He was fast walking right at Sako. Slurpee's heel hit the sand first every time he took a fast step. His feet stayed low as he moved his arms and feet fast. He was excited to be on vacation with his best friend, Sako. He began to twirl around Sako. Slurpee twirled around with his arms out as he went forward. He turned slowly. Sako was in a great mood and he smiled as he started marching around with Slurpee. Sako raised his knees high as he marched with each foot making a nice beat. His arms swung slowly. They found a good spot, they put down their towels. Then they put on their sunscreen and sat down. The two friends didn't know this would be a day they would always remember. Chapter 2.1 Pirate Percy's Crew Takes a Break Jump and Frog Jump Pirate Percy's crew was bored waiting for him to come back. They saw a frog jumping. They saw it catching flies with its tongue. The tall pirate bent down. He wanted to try jump just like a frog. See the frog jump, he said. He pushes on the ground. His legs push him up far. He bends his legs to land. The short pirate said, That frog rests after he jumps. Then he can jump higher. Now watch me, said the tall pirate. He pushed with his hands and feet. He jumped into the air. His feet were close to his body. He landed low to the ground. Pirate Percy wants Swayze to move down the plank, said the tall one. Let's make it fit for a person, he said. They wanted a person to jump. They wanted a person not to look like a frog. Stand on two feet, said the short one. The man did that. He bent his knees. He put his arms back. The short one called, Swing your arms back. Push off your feet and swing your arms up. The tall one knew that you tried to go high when you jumped. He jumped up. He knew to bend his knees. He landed on two feet, but he landed in a puddle of mud. Let's jump down the plank, said the short one. The tall one smiled. Aye, and if we jump over it, we won't have to clean it. Chapter 2.2 .2, The Man Who Walked the Plank Crawl and Crab Walk It was a long swim from Pirate Percy's boat. The man was very tired. He crawled on the beach. The waves crashed around him. He was on his hands and knees. He crawled to a palm tree. He fell asleep in the warm sun. He started to dream. He saw crabs walking across the sand. He thought he should move around like a crab. Then he would not get pinched. He sat on the ground. His feet were out in front of him. He leaned back and put his hands on the ground. His fingers pointed at his toes. The crabs got closer. He lifted his bottom off the sand. 
He was on his hands and feet. Next, he moved his opposite hand and foot. He started to crab walk. The man could go in all directions. He crab walked off the beach and away from the crabs. He was hungry. He walked to find dinner. Then he saw a bear give a fish to her cub. The man had an idea. He bear crawled on his hands and feet to the bear. He acted like a bear so he could get a fish too. This was not a good idea. It was like his free trip on Pirate Percy's boat. That had a bad ending too. The bear chased him. He ran fast back to the beach. He woke up. There was no bear. It was all a dream. He found towels and lunches sitting on the beach. He sat down on Sako's towel. He held a drink and sandwich in his hands. He saw Pirate Percy's ship leaving. He would take another way home. Chapter 4 Pirate Percy Relaxes Gallop and Slide Step The kids came closer as Pirate Percy told them how to slide step. Arr! Stand on your front of your foot like so! He showed them. Percy made his body face forward. Me eyes look over me shoulder, sideways, to see where I'm going. Start slow and say, Step to the side, step together, with your same leg going first. As he did, he started going faster like a sideways gallop, with his good leg always in front. Your feet are both off the ground for a bit, said Percy as he was sliding in a large circle around his treasure chest. Don't drag your leg like a peg leg, he warned. You got to be light on your feet and use springy steps. Seems like you slide slowly, said one of the kids. Tis true that you slide a slow way. It's a relaxing travel to be sure. Look, said a girl. I can do the same thing with my body and toes facing forward. That'd be a fine gallop, smiled Power Percy. Just like a slide step but forward, the girl went on. To gallop, one foot is front and one back. My toes point the same way that I travel. Yes, said Percy. Step together, step together, just like me sideways slide step. So Percy and the kids galloped as his parrot slide stepped on top of the treasure. Chapter 5 Slurpee Remembers Hop and Skip Slurpee sat on the beach. He remembered how Pirate Percy hopped up and down on one foot. Percy would lift his leg. He would bend his other knee. Then he would push on the ground with his foot again and again. He kept his one leg up when he hopped. His hops were short, low, and fast. Slurpee remembered seeing the hop used in another travel. Slurpee watched the girls skipping in the waves. He saw how she would step, lift her back foot in the air, and then hop up. Then she stepped with the other foot and did it all again. She skipped closer. She splashed Slurpee. She said, Sorry, I splashed you. <laughs> I was having so much fun skipping. I didn't see you. Slurpee said, It's okay. I needed a wash. How do you skip so well? He asked. She said, First I say, Step, hop, step, hop, when I skip. Then I think about switching my feet as I go. I swing my arms as I skip to lift me in the air. She said, Watch this. She said as she started skipping again. Slurpee started beating a drum. Da-dun, da-dun, da-dun. Slurpee wrote the steps of how to skip in the sand. Step, lift, hop, repeat. He would tell Sako the steps later. Now he just wanted to lay down on the sunny beach. A second later, a huge wave crashed over Slurpee. The words in the sand were gone. Guess I'll have to remember the steps now, said a wet Slurpee. Now what was first? Chapter 6. Sako gets his nap. Jog, run, and leap. Sako was mad after a long day. He ran around the island at a fast speed. He was still mad at Slurpee for losing the treasure. He ran some more. He leaned forward and pushed on the ground with more power. He swung his arms faster and faster. Sako held his hands like he had an ice cream cone in each one of it, his hands as he ran. Then he started to relax. He slowed his run down to a jog. It was like running, but used less speed and power. After some time, Sako stopped and lay down to sleep on the soft jungle floor. The sun came up in the morning. Sako opened his eyes and stretched. He smelled the ocean air and started to jog. Sako started to run again. Now he was happy. 
He was going to have fun on his vacation with his friend Slurpee. He was so happy that he began to run and leap. He said, run, 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 leap. Sucka pushed strong with his back foot when he leaped. He leaped again. He reached far and high with his front foot. When he landed, he ran for a little and then leaped again. When he got to his towel, he saw that Slurpee was sleeping. I wonder what adventures today will bring, said Sako. He thought about Pirate Percy's visit the day before. Sako lay on his towel, smiled, and closed his eyes. This time, he got the nap that he had started the day before. And this time, really, the end. Now, pause this story and do the moves with us. Yes. See how well you can do the moves we did in the story. Oh, everybody. Thanks again for coming to watch all my videos. Please come back again and again and watch them. Hopefully they'll always give you a smile. Anything else you guys have to say to them? Yeah, keep exercising. That's right. Exercising makes you healthy. Anything you yeah, what do you want to say to the kids? I just want to say have fun, exercise, and we'll get through all this together. Bye. Yes, let me high five.